Welcome to Iron to Diamond, where I pick the top voted champions and build suggestions from your comments below and play them in the next video. Today's pick is Tail, as voted by you guys. Exclusive LPP skin codes will be randomly placed in each video, so happy hunting. All right, so jump into the game, OP's GG, and the runes are on screen right now. This build we're going to go for is very similar to the 1000 AP one-shot Jax build. I didn't think that we should get Rage Blade just because it's AD and we want to get maximum AP for that one shot. Especially because we're opting for Lich Bane, which is a very one-shotty build. Okay, let's get into it. So, the runes are down here and they're very, um, very late game scaling focused. Also, I just uh, ran downstairs when I back up for a delivery, so, uh, kind of out of shape, I guess. Let's start E. E's the best because 8 second cooldown, the Q's on 12 second cooldown, so it's best for farming at range if you want to farm at range. And it also costs nothing. Your E costs nothing, so, really good. Where is I got? Might be a remake. Or just the authentic bronze experience. Who knows, maybe he just gave a super long leash. I'm getting cheese, but by a cane? I don't think so. Give it up, scum oh! My Q just got blocked by that minion. I was trying to Q the minion far away from me. He might E me. Oh, okay, maybe not. You are Unfortunately, this is pushing to him, which is really strange for an Urgot to get pushed in, but he showed up to lane late and he's not pushing it back out. So, I'm just going to farm at a distance. I'm pretty sure Kane's not going to gank a level 1 or level 2, so... Should be fine. As long as we stay back and farm from a distance, which we can because we're Kale. You have your E and your Q. Prioritize using E because it costs no mana. See, you can just keep farming like this. It's really nice. And it's better to play mid Kale. Reason being is because the lane's a lot shorter, so you just be at your tower a lot sooner. Because this is a long distance to cover for me to get back to my tower if I get ganked. We can do this the easy way or my way. Okay. And I can see that Wukong's giving me vision here. I'm always playing really far away, so if I do get ganked, it's only going to be Kane that's ganking or hitting me. Uh, and then Urgot won't be able to touch me because the moment I see Kane, I'm running away. And if Ur Urgot ever walks up, I'm still running away from him. So it's just the nature of any matchup you play as Kale. So yeah, 18 CS to 14, doing pretty good considering a melee against ranged. Uh, like melee, you know. Melee form kill is melee. You're out of line, bag. Oh. Okay, so that's all right. The one thing about Urgot is you can't ult his ult, I don't think, because it takes too long for him to drag you in and you have to predict it. It's a bit awkward. I can just use my E to heal up. If I play properly, I shouldn't need to use any more sustain other than my W. So with Doran's ring, I should be able to just keep spamming my W if I ever need any healing. As long as I minimize the damage I take. And then just keep CS, that's the most important part, is just to keep up on CS. And get level 16, carry the game. That's the aim of any Kale, so we'll be side laning, we'll be taking jungle camps later on. Once we get our Nashes and our Mythic item. For now we just farm at ranged. Yeah, not looking to really do anything because he straight up beats us. If I walk up to him, I try to fight him, I just I just lose really hard. So there's no point. And it's really hard for him to force anything onto me. Like he could try to E flash. He might get some damage off. But I'll just be able to hopefully sustain up with my two potions and everything. So it'll be really difficult for him. I'm gonna miss that CS, so that's okay. I have my range form now, so I'm gonna be able to farm a lot more efficiently. 
Oh. He's uh, maybe just not looking at his character. So I got like four autos off on him. You want to make sure you use your E after three autos because the because press attack uh, amps up your damage. So you want to amp up the, the biggest hit, which is your E. And we're maxing that first, always. Okay. Starting to fight back because he's playing really passive and like just ridiculously passive, so. And I'm just not going Oom at this point, I can heal up. Got a flash out of him as well. Alright. Interrupted his TP, so I can push this. I still had my flash in case that Kane went like crazy mode onto me. Alright, cool. Let's go back. Had to pop both our potions there for that gank and those uh, traits. But looking like a pretty good start. We had a dark seal as well. Potion, why not? So, let's see. How much do we heal from this now? 84 health. If we press shift, by the way, while you're mousing over, you can see more information. So it says, well, it's a 30% ratio, so I got, yeah, so I suppose heal 60, but I'm healing 84 because of the blasting wand and Doran's ring. So the scaling is completely horrendous. Okay, so far so good. We have a big wave to farm here. He just used his abilities. I'll try to sustain up again. He doesn't really have sustain other than his Dorans. So I should be able to slowly heal up with my W spam. And red buff. I have my ult coming up as well. Let's get a bit more poke on him. Guess every bit helps. We just keep spamming our W. Our Doran's Ring will cover all the mana costs. Kane is down there now. Just want to make sure, like, there's a TP opportunity, I might be able to take it. But yeah, if we're able to just farm evenly with Urgot, then we'll just take over the game when it comes to level 16. There we go, get more damage on him. Got the PTA, 3 hit into AE. And I know that... Oh, what the... Just have to make sure we don't miss a TP opportunity. Because we are in a position to TP, if we leave here, we don't really miss too much. Okay, just keep poking at him. He has no sustain. So every bit of poke is useful, and we have sustain, so... Happy to trade. Oh, okay, run, run, run. Oh, I didn't avoid that.
Okay, you just chunked him out. And we get a kill. <laughs> what? We get a kill. Okay, I'll take that. We didn't even need to flash. We just had to ult Kane's damage. What? Excuse me? Oh. Oh, okay. He just walked up. I think, um... I think it's over for them. They're literally feeding an early game Kale. I mean, if you're low elo, if you play like this, I think they'll just throw kills at you. Actually, low elo, any champion, uh, they'll throw kills at you, so... You know, just enjoy it while it lasts, because once you get into higher elo, you won't have this luxury. A token of my conquest! It looks gankable, but I'm low. And I have no ult, so if I uh, teleport in, Tristana jumps me and I die instantly. And yeah, that's... That would just be a colossal turbo int. Can wait a little bit for our ruby crystal. And then after that, we can pick up... Oh, okay, no. That doesn't look like a TP opportunity. That's a good ward, though. If they put another one, I'm really looking for a TP. Unfortunately, we got shoved in. So we're going to miss some minions here, which is my bad. I, I should have maybe anticipated that and went back on a cannon wave or teleported that. I was looking at bot. Hmm. I think they got this. It'll be too late for me to TP now. Let's see if he wants to go for this cannon. No, he just like gives up that cannon completely. If I could let him walk up and then I will W into him into a Q to slow him then I could get some good damage off. Although he's still Urgot, and if I get flipped, then he does maybe kill me since I have no ult. So his only kill opportunity is to land his E on me. Okay, I dodged that. Let's go. There we go. That was his only shot to kill me, is landing his E. So, as long as I dodge that, that's the condition to win. Then I can just do whatever I want. Oh. What the? That looked like it was aiming for me. But it was just my own Ash. Aiming for nothing that's even alive on the map or on my, in my lane. That's weird. It's the unexplainable, guys. That's bronze or uh, iron elo. Okay, this will push in nicely. Can't be argued that I should have teleported to that ward when I was thinking about it. Oh well. This will do nicely too. It's just to play as selfishly as possible. So if I teleported there while the lane state was like I'm missing a, a wave and then Urgot's coming to lane, I will lose a lot of minions, that's for sure. I'm not going to take blue because this low elo and... um. This guy might scream and AFK, so let's not do that. It's not worth it. We'll just have to weigh up the pros and negatives, pros and cons. Okay, this is really good. My team's feeding. So uh, Tristana just got a double kill. And also she's rushing Lord Dominic's, so that means uh, we know that she's kind of clueless. And uh, yeah, if... Okay. Oh, she just used everything. Oh man. No! That was my quadra! Damn. Alright, we need to slow down the pace because we're gonna make them FF. If we're not careful. This is mine. Okay. Why is she here? Huh? Wait, why is she here? Okay. Okay, okay. Look, I I'm not gonna make her rage. Like, I took red and in her mind, she deserves my top lane. So, we'll just um, take this and go to bot. Oh, no. Okay, this is a nightmare. What, is the support gonna farm mid lane? 
This is nuts. Okay, well, we'll take this camp. Oh, okay, the, the macro, the macro is like, oh no, please. Okay, and then we can take this camp. Oh, what's happening, bot lane? Walk up so it doesn't reset because there's the, um, whatever bar. Wait for Tristana to jump or something. Okay, he should have this. Okay, he does not have this. Let, let's go. Mm, come here. I'll get both of you. Okay, maybe not. That's a very late ult, but, you know, make the most of it. Why is Ash here? I thought she's farming my top lane. This is so weird. Oh, that didn't hit. I thought it was going to bounce off a minion, but it didn't even do that. Oh. Okay, run. That's not. Oh, where is Ash? Wait, she's AFK. She's AFK. Why wasn't she here with us? Oh, okay. Hey, it's alright, it's alright, it's fine. Let's get our Magi's. Yeah, this is why I don't like them grouping on me because they walk and all in with me and then they randomly just walk away like this Ash. Uh. And also this uh, Galio is just tapping his W, he's not letting it expand and he's not flashing with it. So it's like... It's fine if Senna snares such a long delay. Okay, alright, so Ash is uh, farming there and gonna farm bot lane, so this is where we can farm mid. Uh, we'll have to defend mid. And then after that we can look at top side as well. If I want to make sure we get a side tower, that'd be really nice. What the frick? Nice, I got the kill. Nice, I got another kill. Let's go. Kane. Nope. Tristana flashed. Go Wukong. Go my pet. Okay, I'm almost 25 stacks. Magis. Kale is so strong. Okay, Galio is tanking. So that means we can get another kill. Make sure we use our E to execute. Don't just spam it randomly. Unless, oh, it is 5 second cooldown now. Before it's a very, feels very long. Can kill Galio. Can use it to wave clear. Alright, that's fine. We don't have to get inhib. Like, we can? Well, we don't have to, it's not important. Because I do want to make sure we play this game out. So, orb walk, always make sure you auto move, auto move. Really good stuff. We don't have teleport for that, damn. I'm so greedy. I, I should be down there. So, if I was serious, I should head down there even if I'm already hitting this tower. Uh, oh, yeah! Okay. I pulled so many up here. Whoa, this guy is... Going ham. Okay. I got the center flush. So much blood All we can do is go and take these two camps and then we'll heal up. Crazy. See, look at that execute damage. Oh, 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 oh. Let's uh, kite it out. Should be fine. Make sure we get our Q slow. Okay, ooh. Dodge that. Okay, now we can go in. Oh, what? Wait, oh. My uh, character stopped moving. Oh, that's painful, but it's really troll if I don't help them here. 
Especially we just killed their jungler, so. Heal the Wukong with W. Dodge that spit. Galio can clear that. Monk. Killed Baron really fast. Oh, I didn't get that. Hmm. Make sure I get as much of this farm as I can. W, uh, E into this should clear it. Okay, it doesn't clear as many as I thought. Okay. Let's go grab red. And then we'll also go back. Oh. Red is up in two, one. Okay. Level 16 now. I'll go back and then teleport right away. You should be able to be fine. Ah, okay, screw it. Oh, I didn't get that. Come on, come here. Uh, let me get my 1000 AP. Oh no! Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I really wanted to. Um, I wanted to get my my death cap a pot, and then I would be a thousand AP. I was 900 gold off. I had 400 for death cap, 500 for the pot, and then I already had Baron buff. So that was a thousand AP one shot right there. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> that was unfortunate. GG, well played. That was um. Yeah, lots and lots of damage. Kale is so strong. Such a good carry, by the way, guys. Like, there, there's no chance anyone's gonna get anywhere near our damage because they fed us early. And if they didn't feed us early, then I think around 27 minutes is when you'll hit level 16. If you've been dying a little bit in lane, but you've been managing the wave perfectly. 26, 27 minutes, uh, just make sure you side lane, get jungle camps on the way, and yeah, you're good to go. This build is the same as the Jax build, 1000 AP one shot build. The thing about 1000 AP one shot is as long as you get Death Cap, Lich Bane, 25 stack Magi's, and then two strong AP items. So anything that has like 80 ability power or more, just need two of them and you're good to go. So yeah, GG well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you vote down below for tomorrow or maybe day after this champion. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.